So I'm refitting the migraine trigger for Mark 10 by using this latest reactor design. So I've already built, uh, let's see, I've already built two, I mean you couldn't build a 5x5 five five and stack it because you have to mirror it. So there's two 5x5s five five and then there's like three in between. But anyway, it, it'll make sense. You go one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, and continue repeating the pattern like that. And by using the symmetry down the middle and filling the gaps in, I mean, I'd love to be able to just like work out a way to. I'm pretty sure I could, but I'm doing it like this, so <laughs> this is easier. I'm going to separate each stack out. So I've got the equivalent of around three, uh, three by four and then there's the same down below so what is that three by four by uh, it's a lot anyway uh, we've got four more here I'm going to bring these all the way back to the tail end so that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm just going to show you this part each layer so you can get an idea of what it's about so obviously layer one I've already sort of given myself a few indicators here so I know what I'm doing um, layer one is gonna be um, yeah I'll stop it and start it to show each layer so first thing you're gonna wanna do is hit control and put the symmetry on odd symmetry mode right here and then put another one right there and then you can just work in this corner and it will mirror the rest automatically let's get started so we filled in the middles with the shield blocks now which one is it so looking at our ship for reference and I'm gonna put this ship in the download guys so you can download it from the description anyway you're gonna put so here we go second layer alright so we're gonna to wanna to put a power block here 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 and here and the server is being ex excessively laggy at the moment right hello server there we go so anyway uh, <laughs> that was crazy then you're gonna look back because you gotta make sure you make this go the right way okay so we've got the five point and then we're gonna literally see there's a shield there so we'll cover it with a power generator and make the uh, tail I guess for the spiral and then just do the same on each side like so and then you'll have that pattern done and then you can start filling in the shield to move on to the next layer and so here we are doing layer 3 so layer 3 is always is like the middle layer so you're gonna end up doing this one a lot it's pretty easy you uh, start by again covering this middle shield blocks with generators and then do the corners and don't get confused about where your corners are because you know when you've got all it filled in with shields it can get a bit confusing but that is your pattern for the middle layer just there okay again the ship in slices will be in the description but I'm just gonna go through this because people were asking so I'm going to fill this in and then we'll do the next layer. So now we can start doing layer 4. So again, we're going to start from the middle and we're going to cover the shield with a generator. Okay? And then we're going to follow the pattern. So you've got to put four more around it. Okay? And then this is the bit that's important. You've got to get the tails, if you want to call them, the right way round. So this time it's actually going to go from uh, from here over oh I missed did I miss yeah, I think I missed no it didn't go down there we go so like that so the pattern's going to go this way remember which corner you're working off because if you went to this corner and started doing that layer it would be wrong and it would mess it up. Allegedly. Maybe it doesn't. It's all experimental. 
So anyway, I'm going to fill this in and uh, do the next layer. Okay, so now that layer is done, we can finish this uh, this reactor. And the way to do that is to do the final layer from the top, top just there. So we're going to put one in the middle. And then obviously you can see where it's going to be because there's two shields there. So it's more likely to go that way around. So you can, you can sort of check that you've got the pattern right because the gaps will be in the right place. I do apologize for the lag. Come on. <laughs> there it comes. Right, I think it's just maybe I made the station a little bit too. People reckon it's too big. I've seen bigger, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Right, so. That's the top layer. Okay. So to carry this on, obviously we wouldn't start again because the pattern's going to overlap in the wrong way and it'll break the... Uh, it'll break the efficiency. So what you want to do is you actually want to come back descending order, ascending order back, descending order back, like that. So, you know, we're effectively going to be mirroring this. So if I go back over here, you can see I've already done that. Yeah. The first five are the reactor, and then we mirror it backwards until we get to the start again. And then we make another reactor. And we could just keep bringing it back, but I just wanted to have a particular shape to this section, so I got plans for this. So anyway, I'm going to keep building this one back. I'm going to carry on and show you how it goes together. But effectively, we're just going to be now repeating the process, going backwards and forwards through the layers as far back as you want. And obviously you know, okay, we've got a bit of a gap here. Because um, you, you could put it over... The, if these two layers were the same, and it would take up less space, but this way probably makes a bit more power. Um, really, you need to set up all the different ways, of, you know, you need to set them all up differently and then test it. Maybe I will. Anyway, I'm going to carry on doing this, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've started putting power tanks into this next section, but only because I wanted to make a different, you know, use a different block to show you can do that. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to put a few power tanks in the next couple of layers. Okay, okay so the glass, sorry. The glass, oh yeah, mate, yeah, the glass is basically, uh, you can put shields or power tanks where the glass goes. It's just easier to show the pattern from a distance. Mm -hmm. So you can just look at that from far away. Like I have it over there on the side because I'm like, uh, sometimes I get a bit confused. So I'm like, ah, oh, at least I know which pattern I'm on. And then you can go, ah, yeah, see, I'm on, I'm on the bottom one again. So, uh -huh. so yeah, what that means is I've been all the way up and now I've come all the way back and now I just start again. It's <laughs> actually really easy. You start every every layer, you start off by just putting a generator in the middle. And then you look at the pattern that you just did, and then you go up next to it, you know, in the in the direction you're moving. So I can mm -hmm. see I need to make a five, like a dice five, you know, like you get on a dice head. Yep, yep. So as soon as you've got the five down, um, I'm just going off of what I'm doing right now, by the way. Sorry, bud. <laughs> um, um, and then you just look at the thing across there, and I can see I need to cover this one and this one and that one and you just follow it round you can usually tell by what's like not a reactor the pattern yeah so like and there's only really three patterns and they mirror so that's why it's just in you can just stack this forever mate it's a good little design although i have found a better one <laughs> i know a better one already it's close to 10,000, but uh, I haven't replicated it yet because it's a bit tricky. So as soon as I've got that, I'm going to put a video out on that. But yeah, so now I'm back at the middle again, and I can't put a... The difference with the middle is you don't put one in the middle. Right. But it's obvious because you'll see that the, the gaps... Because you cover the gaps basically every time with generators at the middle. That's your starting point. Either you either put it in the middle or you cover the gaps and like you can tell by looking at the pattern and you you after you've done it a few times you're like ah oh, it's this and then I do the corners 
Like the middle's really easy. You make like a cross with a hollow middle and then do the corners and um, that's the middle done, you know. Um, and like I say, you just work from one end to the other. Just keep working from one end, like don't go from left to right, left to right, go from left to right, then right to left, you know. Mm -hmm. And then it will always just keep going. Just like I think now I'm in the middle, so just quickly I put one there, one there, one there, one there. See, I'm making the five pattern again. Um, and then the tails go a different way, but you can tell which way they go from A, does that, you know, the reference that you've got with the ship there, and B, you just sort of go off to the side and cover the shield dispenser. I think that's right, yeah. Is that right? See, I've always got to be double checking it because I'm like, ah. Uh. <laughs> it is. It is a bit confusing, but once you get the hang of it, I think that's right. I just got to wait for the blocks to. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now I'll whack a couple more shields in there. I don't know what there. There is. I think there must be a name for this pattern because I think I've seen it in like an optical puzzle or something. Anyway. Um, it looks like familiar somehow, I don't know. Anyway, last layer, whack the thing in the middle, and then do the uh, ends. And you can tell you got it right, because the shield, there'll be two shield, or whatever your filler block you've used is, will be there, and you'll join it up with one of the generators. And it'll all go round in a nice sort of turbine blade style pattern. But yeah, fill it in with shields and keep going. Okay, so I've completed the stack going right back. Um, it goes back, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 15, 20, 25-ish. I'll have to give it a proper count in a minute, but really, so there's 25 there. And then there's four here, and uh, I'll do a proper count and uh, work it out before the end of the video. But anyway, I just want to show you what I did with the inside, because obviously I removed everything from the guns back, and uh, I remodulated the uh, rocket launchers. We've got better rocket launchers spread now. Um, and then I've come inside here, and I've built a little uh, docking area with a tiny shuttle, with doors that shut and stuff. Because I got fed up of having to walk around the outside of the ship to get to my shuttle. And then uh, I'll probably still put a little docking thing on the outside though. And then I've got my new cockpit sort of bridge with gravity, faction module, Bobby AI. So I can, when I get out, I can set it to still fire at stuff. Um, salvage computer. I don't think I've got salvage lasers, so I'll have to figure that one out. Uh, missile computers, I've got two of those and obviously the big guns and there's the core and then we've got a nice sort of bit of crystal here just making it really bright and uh, the whole thing's going to be surrounded and plated uh, but yeah, it's coming on quite nicely um, so far I've got it up to half a million recharge and five million total power with nearly a million, touching on a million shields, 16,000 um, repair, shield recovery, yeah, shield repair, re recharge, that's what it should be called. Shield recharge. So, yeah, I'm going to carry on. So yeah, it's not really finished yet, but I'm just taking it out for a quick test to see how the recharge is doing now. It seems to be getting a little bit better. <laughs> 